Hey guys, I'm Lacey Stevens with Fit by 50 Plus. We are coming to you from beautiful Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. We are about 20 minutes north of gorgeous Bricktown and about 30 minutes from my old stomping ground, Tinker Air Force Base. So I definitely, definitely like to take this time to give a shout out to all of the men and women in uniform who have or who are currently serving. So today I am with Miss Nile Burge who is a certified Tai Chi instructor. She is certified through OU Medicine, and I uh, will turn it over so that you can let us know what we have in store for us today. Hello everyone, again, my name is Nile, and um, we're gonna be learning about Tai Chi today. Um, for those of you who are maybe not familiar with the program or what it is or what exactly we'll be doing, um, just keep in mind of, I don't know if you've ever seen a, a movie or something like that where people are doing that very slow, what looks like a dance, but it's really kind of a workout, that's Tai Chi. And you see all those people outside in the park and they're all just kind of going in unison where it looks really beautiful, that is Tai Chi. So basically the program that we're learning uh, today is called Tai Chi Moving for Better Balance and it is specifically geared towards people who are 50 and up, although anybody can uh, participate and learn and have fun with this program. Um, but it is specifically designed for folks who are 50 and up to help us uh, maintain and or maybe even get some balance um, and keep our balance as we get older because we know sometimes as we age we may be taking different medications or we may um, just kind of have some uh, medical conditions that may have us a little bit unsteady on our feet and then that can in turn lead us to a fall. And so uh, this was part of the Falls Prevention Program there at OU Medicine. So we want to help folks to get to a place where they can help themselves to not have a fall and all of the attendant medical issues that go along with a fall once you're over 50. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to take it step by step, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a um, warm up. So we'll do that first um, and then we'll go through the eight phases or the eight moves of the Tai Chi. Um, there's only eight in our program, so we're going to do the same eight. I'll tell you the names. We'll go through them uh, step by step, so I won't lose anybody, I promise. Um, and then we'll do a cool down and we'll be done, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Is that okay? It is perfect for me. Right. I am looking forward to it because I know that I do need uh, that help with the, the, the stability and balance. And, that's right. You know, I'm just, I'm embracing, you know, getting closer to 50, but I know that the trips and falls do happen. Yes. So I yes, definitely want to do everything that I can to try to prevent that um, from happening. Absolutely. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with the warm up. So we always warm up before we do any sort of exercise program. So with Tai Chi, we start from the feet first and we go up to our head, okay? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and I always start with the right just because I'm right handed, so I just start with the right, but you can do any side you like. But what we're going to do is start with our right foot and we're just going to wave our toes just a little bit. Just wave our toes and just kind of start feeling that loosening of our muscles that might be a little tight, right? So we're going to wave our toes. I feel it too. Yeah. And then we're going to squash a bug. So just squash a bug or do the twist, whichever you want to call it. Do the twist, yeah, I feel right? That too. Yeah, I you do. do. <laughs> right? And then we'll just do the other side. So we'll wave our toes again. So with Tai Chi, we do everything on both sides because it's for better balance. So we want to balance each side and do all of our exercises on each side, okay? And then we'll squash a bug, okay? Or do our twist, all right? Get that foot and that ankle really nice and loosened up. All right, good. So now we'll move on to our knees. So what we're gonna do, I know sometimes when we get a little bit older, our knees start to get a little creaky and that's okay, <laughs> but we're gonna loosen them up a little bit. So you're just gonna do a little bit of a bend with your feet together as, as they'll go. And you're just gonna be in some circles, okay? Yeah, you're feel that. <laughs> you feel it, you hear it, and it's it's it is what it is. But we're gonna get warmed up, and then you'll just want to go in each direction. So just go in the other direction you were going. All right, good deal. All right, so now we're gonna come out and just kind of uh, widen our stance out just a little bit. Put our hands on our hips, and we're gonna do some hula hoop circles. So just big circles with your hips. Doesn't matter which way you go first, because we're gonna go both directions, okay? I so big hula hooping. Oh yeah, I can't do it anymore, but <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> this is the second best thing, right? All right, and then other direction. So you'll just switch up your direction. It really feels good on my hip. Too. Yeah, it does. It feels really good. All right, good deal. So now we're gonna move on to our shoulders. So we're just gonna do some big shoulder rolls. So just roll your shoulders back. Okay. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Feels good, right? Get everything all loosened up and going. 
and then we're just gonna roll them forward. So roll your shoulders forward. Good. All right, now I'm gonna scooch over just a little so I don't smack you in the face. So we're gonna just <laughs> so we're gonna um, reach our our arms out as far as they'll go, and you're just gonna do some small circles. And again, doesn't matter which direction you go in because we're gonna go both directions. Okay. Okay. All right. And then switch directions, other way. Good. And then we'll do one more arm slash shoulder uh, stretch. So you're just gonna um, stretch your arms out like this. Right arm up, left arm down. And then fold your right arm back behind your head and then fold your other arm up to meet it, okay? Now, if your fingers don't touch, I'll show you right here, that's okay. That can be a goal or it cannot, whichever, we're just stretching, <laughs> okay? Mine don't touch. Mine don't touch either, and that's okay. <laughs> All right, and so you'll just stretch up, out, and down. And then we'll do the other side, so out again, left arm up, and then fold it behind your head and fold your right arm up to meet it. And again, if they don't touch, that's okay. That's all right. So you just wanna feel that stretch just right here. And that feels really good. It okay? does, it really does. And then you're gonna stretch up, out, and down. Good deal. Now the very last stretch we're gonna do in our warm up is we're just gonna roll our necks. Now, if you do have issues with, you know, muscles here or shoulder injury or something like that, you just want to be careful and not just going crazy with that roll. Okay. So you just want to do real slow and gentle, okay? So again, doesn't matter which direction you go first, we're going to do both sides, okay? So you're just going to go all the way around and just loosen up that neck, okay? All right, and then go in the other direction. Mm -hmm. Don't make yourself dizzy like I'm doing right now, apparently. <laughs> All right, we're all warmed up. We're feeling good. That was phenomenal. Yeah, feeling good, right? Oh, yes. Very okay, good. excellent. So we'll go ahead and jump into the Tai Chi moves, okay? okay. So um, again, like I mentioned in our intro, there's eight different moves that we do, and um, we'll start off with kind of the basic most most easiest that's not right <laughs> easiest one okay <laughs> and we'll start from there um normally we'll have um just a little bit of a um, breathing exercise do we want to do that as well that's, we can yeah, do that here. fine okay right, let's go. so what we're going to do is we'll do our breathing exercise first and so what we're going to do it's called pursed lip breathing and basically what that means is you're going to take a huge deep breath in through your nose okay. and then you're going to blow it out through your lips but you're going to purse your lips out like you're blowing out a oh, candle okay. Okay. and the goal is to completely empty your lungs when you do that okay and okay. if you put your hands on your diaphragm you can feel it you push in and blow out okay, okay. so let's try that we're going to take a deep breath in through your nose so then blow it out Yeah. Want to do one more? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Deep breath in. And out. Good. So you might want to do just a couple of those um, deep cleansing breaths. I'm going to take my glasses off because I can see, kind of, sort of. <laughs> um, and uh, those deep cleansing breaths really kind of help you, like if you're feeling anxious or you know, you're feeling upset or angry or something mm -hmm. like that, those breaths can really help you kind of calm down and get centered and get focused. That really did feel good. Yeah, okay. So we'll go ahead and do, and get started with our Tai Chi. Okay. So when we start with Tai Chi, so we're gonna do that very, very basic thing. So everything is going to be grounded and centered, okay? okay. So you want your feet to be shoulder width apart, Okay. okay and so you want your feet to be directly over your knees knees centered over your hips hips over your shoulders everything in alignment okay so okay. okay and the one thing to remember is very key about Tai Chi is you want to keep your knees soft oh, okay? okay keep your knees soft making sure they're slightly bent but not like you know crouching down but just kind of soft not right? a full squat not a full squat okay. <laughs> right we don't we're not getting down on the ground at all for this um, just kind of a soft knee there, okay? So when we start, we do a sunrise and a sunset. Okay. Okay, and all we do is just a deep breath in and then blow it out. Okay, so we're gonna do a sunrise. Here we go. Sunrise and sunset. Let's do that one more time. Sunrise, deep breath in. 
sunset, blow it out through her slip. Good. Okay. Now the very first move in Tai Chi is called hold the ball. And it's called hold the ball because it looks like you're holding a ball. Okay. All right. Okay. Very simple. We keep it easy, right? <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to step out like so. And you want to put your weight on your right. And you're just going to swoop it over into a ball. Okay, so now what my legs are doing, my weight is on my right leg, so it's straight. Oh, okay. okay. I'm glad you said that. Yes. 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 And you're bent. Yeah. And then my left leg is up in what we call the kickstand pose, which means it's up, I'm up on my toe and my weight is not on that leg right now. Okay. Okay, so that's what my legs are doing. Now my hands are holding my ball. Now it's not a huge giant ball like this. It is not a little tiny ball like this. So we don't want our shoulders all hunched up. Gotcha. We want our shoulders still relaxed. So our bottom hand should be right at navel length, label height, I guess okay. maybe. And then our top ball should be kind of right above our chest right there, okay? So that's kind of our, our, our comfort zone. Okay. Okay, so this is hold the ball, right? So remember how I said we're gonna do both, we're gonna do everything on both sides. Uh -huh. So we're gonna do everything on the other side too. So I'm gonna step out, step out, and then I'm gonna switch my ball and pull it together, hold the ball, okay? Okay. All right, so let's do it again. We're gonna go to the other side. So I'm gonna step out, switch my ball, hold the ball, okay? Let's do it back to the left. Step out and hold the ball. Good. So far, so good? <laughs> All right. So we got our hold, hold the ball. ball. Yes. We got our hold the ball. Now the thing to remember about hold the ball is we're going to return to hold the ball in between each move that we do. Oh, okay. okay? So that's why we got to make sure we got hold the ball because that's the move we return to. Gotcha. Okay. And the so, leg is straight. The, 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 the leg, leg that's holding your straight. weight is okay. straight. Yes. So we started at what we call our Tai Chi neutral stance. Remember is that feet shoulder width apart, knees are soft, okay. right? That's our Tai Chi neutral stance. Okay. So we step out, hold the ball. Okay. One thing to remember, if your right leg is holding your weight, then your right arm is on the top of the ball. Okay. That's a way to remember it. Okay. And then we step out with our left. Switch our hands over and hold the ball, okay? And again, we're not scrunched up, we're relaxed, all right? Gotcha. So we're just right here. Let's do it again. Step out, hold the ball, ooh, I must lost my balance. And then we're gonna step out again, hold the ball. See? I'm touching it, yeah. <laughs> so far, so good, yeah, right? I like it. Yeah, yeah, good. So that's our basic move. Okay. So we think we got it? Got it. So far, so good? Yes. All right. <clears throat> so that's our hold the ball. The next move is called part the wild horse's mane. Okay? Okay. <laughs> right, it's a lot easier than it sounds, right? It's a lot easier than it sounds. All right. So we just ended our hold the ball, right? Uh -huh. So we're in our left hold the ball, right? Which means our... Left leg has our weight, left arm is on top of the ball, gotcha. right? So now we're gonna strike out at an angle, but remember, we're keeping our balance, so we're not gonna take huge okay. giant steps, right? We're just gonna take just a normal step, normal tread step, okay? All right, so I'm gonna step out with my leg. My bottom hand is gonna come up, and my top hand is gonna come down. I'm patting or parting the horse's mane right now. Gotcha. Okay? That's pretty neat. Yeah. And then to pull it all together and to hold the ball, I'm just going to pull it in here. Okay. I'm back. Let's do it again. No, you're not. You're fine. Let's do it again. So we're going to go back to left hold the ball. Okay. Left hold the ball. Yep. So left arms. Left arm top. Am I doing this wrong? I'm wrong. Sorry. <laughs> what? what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So your left leg is holding your weight. Left leg and the left leg. arm is on top okay. of the ball. Okay? Half, Good. Halfway, right? Halfway. Okay. It's going to be one or the other, right? All right. So we're going to step out at an angle, but not a huge step, remember? So we're going to step out. And then bottom hand is going to come up. Top hand is going to go down. Up like so. And then we're going to just pull it in to hold the ball. Okay? So this hand is on top. But yes. This leg straight. Right. I'm learning. And then we're going to do the exact same thing, going the other way. Okay, so I'm okay. going to step out, bottom hand goes up, and parting the horse's, horse's mane, and then together. Okay, 
Let's try it again. You good? I'm trying to make sure I've got my, my leg and the yeah. arm right. So yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. So we're in left hold the ball. Left hold the ball. So left leg straight. Mm -hmm. so, okay. So another sort of reminder, I don't know if this may help you, but whatever leg is up in the kickstand uh -huh. is the leg that's going to step out first. Okay. Okay. So this leg is already up. It's already ready to go. Okay. okay? So we're going to step out. Bottom hand goes up. Top hand goes down. Okay. And then bring it right in to hold the ball. Okay. And then we'll do it on the other side. Same thing. Step out. Hand goes up, part the wild horse's mane, and together. Good? Yeah? My legs are right too. They are, you got it. You got it. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. So our next move is called single whip. Okay. Now, unfortunately, this one doesn't, the name of the move doesn't tell you what we're going to do. Okay. But that's okay. Okay. We'll walk through it. Okay. So we just ended in, we just did our left part the wild horse's mane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So now what we're going to scoot over just a tiny bit. Now, what we're going to do is that the hand that's on top of my ball, which should be my left, uh -huh. is going to come out and I'm going to hold it like I'm holding a drippy tea bag or like a crane. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay, we're gonna okay. do that first. Uh -huh. Okay, then you see my bottom hand like I'm cupping the bottom of my ball. Uh -huh. I'm gonna come up and then I'm gonna push. Rock so, back. So this arm's like bringing your leg up? Uh, kinda, yeah, kinda. So as this hand comes up, this leg comes up at the same time. I can't do it all once I fall. But <laughs> come up here and then I push it out. Okay? While I'm still holding the tea bag. While I'm still holding the tea bag. And then I'm gonna rock back. See how my toes come up? Uh -huh. Okay. And then I'm going to turn my toes to the front. And then I'm going to hold the ball. Oh, then that's what you said. You keep going back to hold the yeah. ball. And you go back to hold the ball. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So you want to try it again? I have to learn that at some point. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're back in left hold the ball. Okay. Hmm? Just slide down just a little bit. Okay. So we're in left hold the ball. Left hold the ball. So my yep. left leg is straight. Mm -hmm. And left hand left on top. Hand top. Yep. There we That's go. Right. There, there we go. go. We got it. Okay. So we're hold our drippy tea bag out first. Okay. And then we take this hand and go up. Left. I mean, right leg goes up at the same time. Push. Rock back. Toes to the front. And hold the ball. Okay. Now, the wrong way. yeah, there I'll you go. The <laughs> there you go. Because this hand was out, it's just going right to come right to the top. Okay. I like that. Okay. okay. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So hold my drippy tea bag out again. Drippy tea bag. Yeah. And then this bottom hand is going to go up again, just like we did before. Push. Rock back. Toes to the front. And hold the ball. Okay. Let's try it again. You want to try it again? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Trying to think and process. Okay. Yeah. Left arm is up and then left arm down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get it sooner or later. I really, I am. Yes, you are. This left hold the ball. Left hold the ball. So okay. Like this. So hold our drippy tea bag. Drippy Right hand goes up. Push. Rock back. Toes to the front. And hold the ball. There you go. That's it. Left hand goes up, push, rock back, toes to the front, and hold the ball. Okay, yes. I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's what we'll do. So we just learned three moves. Okay. Okay, we learned hold the ball, we learned part the wild horse's mane, and we learned single whip. So let's put those three together, okay? Ooh, okay, <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're in Tai Chi neutral stance. Okay. Shoulder width apart. Shoulder width apart. Okay. Knees are soft. Hips are loose. Okay. And so we'll go this way first. Okay. So we'll go right hold the ball. And left hold the ball. And part the wild horse's mane. Go to the right. Step out. Step out. Right hand goes up. Left hand goes down. And hold the ball. Part the wild horse's mane, we step out, hand goes up, and hold the ball, and single whip, left hand goes up first, hold our drippy tea bag, 
right hand goes up, push, rock back, toes to the front, and hold the ball. Single whip again, right hand goes up, trippy tea bag, left hand up, push, rock back, toes to the front, and hold the ball. Yeah. <laughs> and it takes a lot of balance. It does. Because I mean, I feel yeah. myself like, yeah. oh, that didn't work out well. <laughs> well, I'll tell you though, when you do the whole program straight through without kind of stopping for instruction, uh -huh. um, it's easier to kind of find your balance and find your center. Um, but we're stopping and I'm do, kind of saying yes, it step it by is. step. Yeah. So it might be a little bit yes. harder to do when you're going slow, but when you kind of go through it, it's go, it goes a little bit smoother. And it's really working my hip. It's really working my hip. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ready for the next one? Let's do it. All right, so the next uh, pose is waving hands like clouds. Okay? Okay. All right. So this one's fairly easy, but what we're gonna do, normally you would take three steps to the right, and then you take three steps to the left. Um, I don't wanna get too far out of frame, we don't have a super lot of space in here. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna take really big steps. I'm gonna take so kind of take tiny, small, steps, small okay. steps in here, just to let you know that's what we're doing. But if you have more space, then you can move around just a little bit more, okay? okay. All right, so we just ended in our single whip, and so we're back in left hold the ball. Left hold the ball. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, and so instead of uh, stepping out at an angle like we did for the other ones, we're gonna take a diagonal step out to the side. Okay, and then our right hand is going to go up first. Okay, so I'm going to step out and then my right hand is going to come up and I'm going to wave my hand in front of my face as if it were a cloud. Okay, and then I step together and then I wave my left hand. Okay, and then I step out again, my second step, wave my right hand again, step together, wave my left hand. Okay. And then here's my third step. So I step out. And instead of waving my hand all the way around, I'm going to go halfway stop and then hold the ball. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to do the exact same thing going the other way. So we're going to step out to the left, step out, left hand goes up, wave in front of my face, and then step together. Make sure you don't take too big of a step there, okay? okay. And then step out again waving my hand and then step together wave my hand and then here's my third step so i step out i wave my hand halfway stop, stop and hold the ball mm -hmm. okay and you know you would think that hold the ball is probably the easiest move yeah it is so twisted up in my mind because i'm trying <laughs> to figure okay yeah. this arm is on top which mm -hmm. leg and that's why i keep looking okay is that right leg right hold yeah. the ball and which leg so i'll get it i'll get it okay that's that's pretty neat i like that yeah so let's do that what one again with your your other hand so it's just kind of here i mean it's not really much i mean i'm just i guess i kind of hold it here or okay. maybe it's kind of here okay. but it's here 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 stop and mm -hmm. then hold the ball mm -hmm. gotcha okay so we want to try that one again i do all right first and then our right hand is going to go up okay? okay so we'll step out Wave my right hand, step together, left hand. Step out, right hand, and together, left hand. And here's my third step. I step out, halfway stop, stop and hold the ball. Hold the ball. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go right back to the left side. So we're gonna step out left, left hand goes up, wave my left hand, step together, right hand. Step out, left hand, and together, right hand. And here's my third step. Halfway stop and hold the ball. Okay? Boom. Pretty good? Yes. All right. Okay, so the next one is Repulse the Monkey. Okay. <laughs> it's called Repulse the Monkey. So okay. this one is a little tricky but I'll walk you through okay? okay and now for this one we're gonna do a step back so you may want to step up just a tiny bit but again I don't want you to do a huge giant step okay, okay. so just kind of a smaller step is what we want so here. Going back yes okay. we're going backwards oh, okay okay <laughs> sorry okay so we're in our left hold the ball left hold the ball yes left hold the ball okay so right leg is up it's in our kickstand so that's the leg that's gonna go right okay okay so 
we're gonna take a step back with our kickstand leg. Kickstand leg. Right? Yes. All right. So I'm gonna step back. Hmm. Okay. Left hand is gonna go out to repulse the monkey. I'm gonna stop that monkey. Stop the monkey. Okay. And then my right hand is still kind of holding the bottom of my ball. Uh -huh. It's gonna circle around like this. I'm gonna call all my friends to help me, and then I'm gonna pull everything in to hold the ball. And you end up. And you end back. up in the ball. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's do that again. We started in left hold the ball. Left hold the ball. Yep. She needs my left leg. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna step back with the right leg. Step back. Hmm. Repulse, Repulse that down. monkey. Call all my friends to help me. And hold the ball. I like Good. It. Yes. Okay. Feel so, that in my quad. Uh huh. <laughs> all right. So we just ended in. Nope. Oh, wrong one. Right hold the ball. <laughs> And I'm saying hold the monkey. Right, hold, hold the, the ball. <laughs> hold the monkey. All right. So we're going to step back with our left leg this time, okay? Okay. So we step back. Hmm. Repulse that monkey with our right hand. Call all my friends to help me. And hold the ball. Okay? Let's try it again. I did it. You did it. That's good. Let's hold the ball. Okay. okay. Step back with our right leg. Step back. Repulse that monkey. Call all our friends and hold the ball. Now, the problem with doing that here is that we still have to stop and scoot up. Okay. <laughs> well, that's okay. So then we're going to do it left side. So step back with the left, repulse that monkey, call all our friends, and hold the ball. Okay? I can hold the ball. You can hold the ball. <laughs> all right. So the next move is called brush knee. This one's easy, I promise. Okay. Okay. So we just finished repulsing our monkey, so we're back in left hold the ball. Left hold the ball. So this okay. Straight. Okay. And so for this one, we're gonna do that diagonal step out like we did for those other couple of ones we uh -huh. just learned. So we're gonna step out like so, and then my bottom hand is gonna brush across my knee, and then my top hand is gonna brush across my knee as well, kind of like all the way around in a oh. circle and hold the ball. That takes some flexibility. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> and then same thing for the left. You're gonna step out, brush my knee, brush. swim around, and hold the ball. Now I'll I tell you. I did that right. That's okay. But I'll tell you this. It's easier if you take smaller steps. Okay. Because I see you taking a little bit of a big, bigger step. Okay. And so I just want you to make sure you're not like going out like this. Okay, so just kind of keep it very Am I overextending of, myself. Yes, and you're making it harder. <laughs> this is supposed to be easy, right? This is gonna be easy for us. So okay. let's try it again. So we're in left hold the ball. Left hold the ball. There you go. Yep, okay. that's it. All right, so we're gonna step out with the right. Step out. Brush my knee. Swim around. And hold the ball. Okay. Same thing on the other side. We step out. Brush my knee. Brush my knee. Swim around. And hold the ball. Okay? Good? <laughs> okay. That one's fairly easy. The next one we're gonna do is called Fair Lady Work Shuttles. Okay? Again, this one doesn't tell you what we're gonna do, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so we're in left hold the ball. Left hold the ball, left leg. Okay. 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 And this one is another one where we're just gonna take a little small step out diagonal. Okay, okay so I wanna step out with the right, step out. And then my bottom hand is gonna come up first, and I'm just gonna kind of make a, I don't know, L shape. Or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> like I I'm blinded it. by the sun, make oh. an L shape. Then my other hand is gonna come up kind of like a picture frame. They're not together, they're just kind of like a picture frame here. Uh huh. Okay. And then hold the ball. Okay. And that's called what? Fair Lady Work Shuttles. Okay. okay. Fair Lady Work Shuttles. Okay. And then the same thing we're gonna do on the other side. So we're gonna step out with the left, left hand comes up. Hand, hand, and, and hold the ball. And my legs are wrong. You are, but that's hold okay. The <laughs> hold the ball. Yeah. I'm getting it. So I'm far, so good? It. Yes. Okay. Yes. Believe it or not, that was the seventh move. The eighth one is the last Get one. Out. It is. This one's a little complicated, I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to do it step by step. It. Okay. It's easy. It's easy once you do it, but once you're learning it, then that's the, that's the complicated part. But that's okay. So we're going to go left, hold the ball. Hold the ball. Okay. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna take this one step by step, okay? Okay. So this one, just a diagonal step out, same way we did before, okay? So we step out, okay? Bottom hand is gonna go up first. So I'm gonna come up here, and then my left hand is gonna come up to meet it. I'm gonna form a little ball with my hands, my ball of cheek, okay? okay? Then I'm gonna turn my ball, and then I'm gonna bring it down diagonally across my body, okay? And then my right hand is gonna stay put, my left hand is gonna make a circle at my hip. Okay, then I'm gonna put my hands back together like so. And then I'm gonna come back up, up here. And then I'm gonna release my butterflies. I'm gonna rock back. I'm gonna push and hold the ball. <laughs> and, and that just looks so graceful. Yeah. And that, that just looks so, Yeah. that's graceful. Yeah. Okay, we'll try it again? Yes. Let's try it again. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the left. Okay? So I'm going to step out with the left. Okay. Here we go. Step out. Left hand goes up. Right hand goes up to meet it. Form my ball. Turn my ball. Down. Right hand circle at my hip. Together. Hands up. Release my butterflies. Rock back. Push. And hold the ball. Okay, so let's hold the ball. Let's hold the ball. There you go. Gonna so step out with the right. So I step out right. Right hand goes up. Left hand goes up to meet it. Form my ball. Turn my ball. Come back across, down across my body. Left hand circle at my hip. Hands together. Up. Release my butterflies. Rock back. Push and hold the ball. And hold the ball. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Hold the ball. I love that. That's so pretty. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Good? Yes. Okay. So I just did it once and I ended on the right. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the left. Okay. So we're going to step out with the left. Okay. Here we go. Step out. Left hand goes up. Right hand goes up to meet it. Form my ball. Turn my ball. Down. Right hand circle at my hip, together, hands up, release my butterflies, rock back, push, and hold the ball. And hold the ball. Yep. Yeah. Hold the ball. Hold the ball. <laughs> That's it. I like that. That's, That's it. Pretty. Okay. Okay. So do we think we got it? Oh goodness no, let's try that one, <laughs> one more time. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem at all. Okay. I like that. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. So, you just learned all eight. Oh, that is fantastic. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them all together. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. and we'll do that a couple times just so you can get comfortable. Uh huh. And then we'll see where we're at. Okay. When we finish. That, that. works for me. Okay. So we start with our Tai Chi neutral stance, right? Okay, everything loose, everything good. Yes. Knees bend a little bit. Uh -huh. All right. So we're gonna start with hold the ball to the right. To the right. Okay. So we step out, hold the ball, and to the left, hold the ball. Part the wild horse's mane. Step out to the right. Right hand goes up, and hold the ball. Part the wild horse's mane, step out to the left. Left hand goes up and hold the ball. Whoop, I'm gonna scoot over just a little. Single whip. So we hold our drippy tea bag out first. Then we step out, push, rock back, toes to the front and hold the ball. Single whip, hold my drippy tea bag out, step out left. Push, rock back, toes to the front, and hold the ball, okay? Waving hands like clouds, step out to the right, three steps, remember? 
Okay, step out, wave my hand in front, step together, wave my left hand. Step out, wave my right, step together, wave my left. And here's my third step, step out, halfway stop, and hold the ball. Waving hands like clouds to the left, step out left, left hand wave, step together, right hand. Step out left, left hand wave, step together, right hand. And here's my third step, step out, halfway stop, and hold the ball. Repulse the monkey, so we're gonna step back. So we step back, repulse that monkey, Ooh. call all my friends, and hold the ball. Oh, let's step up a little, <laughs> so we don't run into the couch. And we're gonna step back with our left, repulse that monkey, call all our friends, and hold the ball, okay? Brush knee, step out with the right, diagonal, brush my knee, swim around, and hold the ball. Brush my knee to the left, step out, brush my knee, swim around, hold the ball. Fair lady work shuttles, step out to the right, hand, hand, and hold the ball. Fair lady work shuttles, step out left, hand, hand, and hold the ball. And our last thing, I don't know if I told you the name of this one, sorry, I don't think I mentioned it, but it's called Grasp the Peacock's Tail. <laughs> Grass the peacock's tail. And we've done that one already? That's the very last one. Oh, okay. That's okay, the last one. You. I don't think I mentioned the name of it before. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. So we're going to step out. Right hand goes up. Left hand goes up to meet it. Form my ball. Down across my body. Circle at my hip. Hands together. Up. Release my butterflies. Rock back. Push and hold the ball, and grasp the peacock's tail to the left, step out, left hand goes up, right hand goes up to meet it, form my ball, down across my body, right hand circle at my hip, hands together, up, release my butterflies, rock back, push, and hold the ball. Now when we end, because we're still in hold the ball pose, right? When we end, we just go into Tai Chi neutral stance. So you just step out, like so, and then sunrise and sunset. So sunrise and sunset. And then you give thanks. <laughs> that, and I will give thanks to you. Yeah. Like, that was fantastic. Oh. <laughs> that is Thank so you. graceful. Yeah. Oh. I've got to learn that. I've got to do that again. <laughs> yeah. That was neat. I know that I wasn't doing it right. I mean, yes, you some, were. You were doing some of those. Fantastic. I was like, left hand, right hand, left leg, <laughs> right leg. For your first time, you did oh, amazing. That was so good. So, it, that, it's crazy because it's graceful, mm -hmm. but it's I mean, did you see how many times I lost my balance? You know, I'm mm -hmm. trying to keep my balance and mm -hmm. stuff. So, that is just, oh my God. And, even relaxing, that is just, that takes me to another place. Oh yeah. I love that. Yeah. Step together, left hand. Step out, right hand, and together, left hand. And here's my third step. I step out, halfway stop, and hold the ball. Hold. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go right back to the left side. So we're gonna step out left, left hand goes up, wave my left hand, Step together, right hand. Step out, left hand, and together, right hand. And here's my third step. Halfway stop, and hold the ball, okay?
and left hold the ball. Okay, okay. And this one is another one where we're just gonna take a little small step out diagonal. Okay, so I'm gonna step out with the right, step out. And then my bottom hand is gonna come up first. And I'm just gonna kind of make a, I don't know, L shape. Like I'm blinded by the sun, make an L shape. Then my other hand is gonna come up kind of like a picture frame. They're not together. They're just kind of like a picture frame here. Uh-huh. Okay. And then hold the ball. Okay. And that's called what? Fair Lady Work Shuttles. Okay. Okay. Fair Lady Work Shuttles. Okay. And then the same thing we're going to do on the other side. So we're going to step out with the left. Left hand comes up. Hand. Hand. And, and hold the ball. And my legs are wrong. You are. But that's hold okay. The ball. <laughs> hold the ball. <laughs> Hand goes up, step together, right hand, step out, left hand, and together, right hand. And here's our third step, step out right, halfway stop, and hold the ball. Repulse the monkey, step back right, repulse that monkey, call all our friends, and hold the ball up. <laughs> We're gonna repulse that monkey again, so we step back left, repulse the monkey, call all our friends, and hold the ball. Now we're gonna do brush knee, we'll step out right, step out, I brush my knee, swim around, and hold the ball. Brush knee to the left, step out, brush my knee, swim around, hold the ball. Fair lady works shuttles, I step out right, Right hand up, hand, hand, and hold the ball. Fair lady work shuttles to the left, step out, hand, hand, and hold the ball. Grasp the peacock's tail, step out right, right hand goes up, left hand goes up to meet it. For my ball, down, right, I'm sorry, left hand circle at my hip, hands together, up, release my butterflies, rock back, push, and hold the ball. Up, grasp the peacock's tail to the left, step out, left hand goes up, right hand goes up to meet it, form my ball, down, right hand circle at my hip, hands together, up, release my butterflies, rock back, push, and hold the ball. Tai Chi neutral stance, step out, and sunrise, and sunset. Nailed it! And that's I it! That. I love that. <laughs> I love that. And that's it. That's Tai Chi. Oh. And you said there are different types of Tai Chi? There are. There are several different types. If you go on YouTube or you may hear someone else talking about it or something. There are up to 100, 200 different moves that you can learn. Um, but the ones that we do are just the eight. And like I said, we do those same eight in the same order. So that once you kind of learn the program, you can just kind of do it. And you get some nice music, some relaxing uh, music to play in the background. And you just kind of get into the zone. Um, so we just do those eight. But there are other forms out there. So if you go to look it up on YouTube or whatever the case may be, you may see some different types of Tai Chi. But it's all the basic same principles mm -hmm. of the balance and um, keeping yourself healthy and active. Even if you don't want to do a high intensity, right. I'm really sweating, I'm, even I'm sweating right now, <laughs> of sweating and move, really moving and getting your heart rate up workout. Uh -huh. This is still a good workout. You'll still kind of get your heart rate up. You should feel warm. You should feel maybe a little bit of a um, a little bit of heat, a little bit mm -hmm. of sweat, um, but it's not going to be where, oh, I'm dripping, and oh, I'm tired, and oh, I'm about to pass out. It's not a workout like that, um, but you can get some cardiovascular uh, benefit from this program as well. And definitely the strength. Yes. And like yes. you said, the stability, yes. the flexibility, and balance. Absolutely. But relaxation. Absolutely. Oh my God, I can only imagine yep. that. Especially after I get it, you know, go through it a few times, yeah. and then you put on that right music. Absolutely. Oh my God, that yeah. that is definitely 
it, going under the category of relaxation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love So that. good. Yeah, this is one of my favorite things to do and to teach. It's a, it's a lot of fun. So. And, and, and you do a fantastic job. Thank you. You can teach me Tai Chi <laughs> and you're, you're doing a fantastic job. Yeah. So, again, I thank you so much for inviting me in. Yeah. And um, if anybody wants to get in touch with you, just get in touch with me and I'll be happy to get in, get you in touch with her. That's right. And, you know, until then, keep working on the Tai Chi. I, I will keep working on the Tai Chi. If you learn some more moves or whatever, <laughs> I'm there. Yeah. Because that right there was absolutely phenomenal. If you've never done Tai Chi, you really need to consider doing Tai Chi because that is especially the combination of everything it really it, it really brings everything together absolutely so if you would like you know we're trying to get fit by 50 almost there or by 50 plus we're very close <laughs> <laughs> so if you would like to um have me come as part of the road show and do a workout feel free please let me know also for the spanish spanish language speakers um Nile is bilingual so this could also be taught in Spanish, so definitely keep that in mind. Thank you so much, guys, for inviting us into your home. Thank you so much for taking the initiative to get up and get fit. Uh, we will do this together. Thank you so much.